Here are some important notes when working on GDI injection system. Whenever you're working on this high pressure system, you must depressurize the low fuel system in order to work on the high pressure system. So you're going to depressurize the low system. That means turn the ignition off and keep the fuel pump from operating. And then you're going to depressurize the high pressure system. Now there's a note here that we make twice in this training program. During engine off, key off, key in your pocket operation, the low pressure fuel pump may operate up to six times per hour in order to keep the high pressure system pressurized for quick starting. So you have to disable the low pressure system and then depressurize the high pressure system. The low pressure system is the same as it is with port fuel injector. It's the same. We've been working on them for years. Use bi-directional function on the scan tool to command the fuel pump relay off and that would depressurize or disable the low pressure system or remove the fuel pump relay and then run the engine until we're out of fuel. Bidirectional capabilities are across the board depending on your scan tool manufacturer and the vehicle you're working on, but make sure you look at some of these possibilities. So the fuel pump may be able to be turned on or off on your scan tool. The high fuel pressure may be reduced, meaning that it will bleed off from a PCM command that you told the PCM to do in bidirectional capabilities. There are fuel pressure control bidirectional capabilities, and you could reduce it or increase it. Now, all scan tools do not have the same amount of bidirectional controls in either do vehicles. So just check it out when you're on a certain vehicle. Does your scan tool do any of these? For example, we can do a fuel injector balance test indicating is there one or more injectors that don't deliver the same amount of fuel. And cylinder balance test, cylinder power test, cylinder contribution test. Check out and see what your scan tool has on the car you're working on. It only takes a second and it saves you a lot of time if they have any of them. Now when you have to remove and replace or you're replacing the injectors or you're just removing them, the injectors hold down clamp has to be replaced. It's kind of a spring steel. You should replace the O-rings and the plastic spacers. So over on the right we can replace the hold down clamp and its C-clamp and the O-rings need to be replaced. And if you're going to take these injectors out and put them back in, don't forget that plastic spacer as well as the injector seal. Now on some manufactured injectors, the injector seal requires a special tool available from the manufacturer.